Madagascar, scientists and doctors are using a handheld DNA sequencer in the fight against tuberculosis. This is the first time this sort of tech is being used in remote parts of the country where the disease is a major killer. Here's CGTN's Susan Mongeli with more. Drug resistance tuberculosis is a major threat worldwide. In Madagascar, it kills an average of 13,000 people annually. That's according to the World Health Organization, which cites poor infrastructure as a key challenge in fighting the disease. One of the problems is that diagnosing TB can take a long time. So at the moment, you have to culture the bugs in the lab, and that can take weeks. And so actually finding out whether a, a bug is resistant to drugs can take a long time, delaying treatment and also in encouraging the spread of that infection to other people. Now, a new project by an international team of scientists and doctors is hoping to change that. They are training Malagasy scientists to rapidly detect TB and drug resistance using DNA sequencing. We've demonstrated that whole genome sequencing can be used in a high burden setting with poor infrastructure um, and all you need is minimal equipment including the sequencer, a laptop and a few other basic lab equipment um, and electricity. The project aims to improve diagnosis and treatment and will provide insight into the transmission of the disease, valuable information that can be used in the fight against tuberculosis in other countries. Susan Mongeli, CGTN.